All right, guys, I want to show you something here uh, because it was really frustrating for me to get it set up. What I'm going to show you is how to use Open Broadcaster Studio to record two different audio sources and separate those into two separate tracks when it saves it to .mp4. So what this means is you'll be able to import that .mp4 into whatever, hopefully whatever video editing software that you've got or audio editing software that you've got and it'll come in as two discrete tracks. This was so frustrating to me because I wanted to record games, uh, web-based flash games and have voiceover commentary on them but I was finding that some of the games were really loud and it was hard to talk over them and I really wanted to be able to manage the audio in post-production rather than try to level it you know all at once with just a slider over the whole video so I'm gonna I'm gonna dig into it uh, I'm gonna try to go kind of slow so you guys can pick it up I'm sure you're familiar with the OBS interface so if I go too slow it's because I want to make sure that everybody can follow along alright guys let's take care of it so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the output settings right here and make sure that output mode is set to advanced. Now I can't actually set it to advanced because I'm currently recording so it won't let me do that. Uh, but if this says, I, I believe it's simple that it'll say and you won't have all of these tabs here, uh, go ahead and change this to advanced. Uh, then what you want to do is on the recording tab uh, select audio track one and two as a minimum. You may select three and four depending on what you're doing and, and how many audio sources that you have. Uh, also make sure to select MP4 as the recording format. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any other ones in this list that support multiple tracks, but I know MP4 does. I know .flv, like it says right here, does not support multiple tracks. All right, then on the audio tab, right next to the recording tab, we have our three tracks here. Uh, go ahead and just give this any name. I believe that name gets imported into the video editing software afterwards. Haven't checked on that. Uh, set your bit rates. You can certainly set them independently if you want. Disregard my tracks three and four. Uh, I set those up while I was trying to figure out how this all worked. Uh, let me see. Do we need to do anything on the audio settings? Yes. Make sure that you have your desktop audio device set up as well as your microphone audio device and any other auxiliaries that you want to add in like music tracks or whatever. Uh, these are going to be important because we will select these in the next screen. Now this part was not very hard um, but you'll find if you record with these settings your tracks will not be discrete. It will still mix everything together when you drag it into your audio uh, or video editing software, it will not work the way that you want it to. The last piece that ties this all together is this mixer button tucked right here. If you click on that cog wheel, this is where the magic happens. Alright, so you'll see name, we have desktop audio. So the desktop audio is basically my game audio. Uh, I'm piping the uh, I'm piping the web-based game audio into my headphones and then that's the desktop audio channel in my operating system. So uh, I set that to track one. These will all be checked by default and that's what causes those tracks to mix together uh, if you don't set, uh, change these settings. So track one is desktop audio, track two is mic or auxiliary, and then if you had additional channels you would set the third one to three, the next one to four, etc. These track numbers here correspond to these track numbers here. So it's important whatever track numbers that you select in the mixer under that cog wheel that you also select the same tracks here. And uh, now I'll show you an example. Uh, I'll drop one of my other files that I did this with into my workstation. Uh, let's see here. Did I do it to this one? We'll find out. Let me delete this. I was testing a lot with this. Drop this in here. All right. Yep. Let me get rid of these guys. Whoa. So as you can see, it imports two 
tracks. Now this video I didn't actually record anything, it was just a little sample so I could see you were getting the two tracks. But normally what you would see is two different waveforms. So you'd have one waveform for your game audio and another waveform for your microphone audio. I hope that helps you guys out. If I went too fast or if you have any questions on it, please let me know. I'm, I'm more than willing to answer questions in the comments if uh, you have trouble finding it because I'm not, I'm not kidding around. This took me like hours to figure out. I was looking online. It's hard to come up with the right search terms to find this information. Uh, so if you know somebody that's struggling to find it, please pass my video along. Uh, I, I think it's going to be helpful information for everybody. Anyway, take it easy, guys. I hope it helped you out. Have a great day.